All right, so I'm in my new spot and I'm right beside the tower. Yep, because in my old spot, which was over there, right in that corner, right there, I could not get internet at all. Although it was perfect because it was right across from the restroom, so now I have to walk a little bit because I'm still using the bathrooms here. So, and my peaches, I had to level her out, even though it doesn't look level to me, but my fridge says it's level, so I'll have to go with that. And then we have this. <laughs> it's still leaking water. I had to undo the water because it froze. And look at you can see there's ice on the tire. So to be safe, I thought, well, there's I'll, I'll take it out. But my poor peaches, her hot water tank is gone. And I don't know if it was me or <laughs> And this I can't get my sewer thing off. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I can't seem to get it off. So I'm waiting for Scott to show up, who is the handyman, the fix-it dude, to show me if I'm doing it wrong or whatever. This is my old hose. I got a new hose. I got some new hose to put. What, the? what is it with this? There we go. Yeah, so that's, I shut off the water, but we've got her all plugged in. and We've went for a bike ride. We've already been to the pet area. But yeah, this is a main road here, so it's noisy, but it's not too bad at night. Like, I'm surprised because I really don't hear anything at night. But <coughs> there's a cinema right here, and I guess there's a few stores in the back over in here and stuff, so. Oh, look, at there goes the transit system. And uh, let's see, way over there is the pet area, which sucks. And over there is a pet area. And Miss Tika has all her toys all over. Yeah, she's got it spread out. She took the lid off the sewer there and put it in the bush there so I had to search for it this morning because we were getting some major sewage smells the pool is right there the office is right there it's warming up but it was cold yesterday like cold and of course now I'm in the open but whatever, I got internet. <laughs> so I guess you have to sacrifice one for the other. But, you know, I was talking to a lady yesterday who stopped by. Because <laughs> she noticed me walking around the park. And uh, she says, this is a really depressing park. And actually, for the last couple of days, I'm starting to begin to agree with her. I have nothing against seniors, okay, but uh, this is a park for senior, senior people. <laughs> and there's not a whole lot to do around here. Like, I guess there's a, there's a walking trail that goes up and around there, so I'll check that out. And up there is the old airport that shut down, but you can do, there's a walking trail up there, but you see... In order to do that, I have to pack peaches up and go. So I would really like to try some dry camping. That's why I need that water heater. 
well, I guess I don't need it. I could, you know, put water on the stove. But, you know, I like convenience a little bit, you know. Plus, it holds more water if I have the tank going. But, yeah, I reorganized a bit in peaches and stuff, so it's a bit better. But, like I said, you know, I'll organize on the way. But, yeah. I've been really tired, like really tired, and I've had headaches. Yesterday, I just generally just didn't feel well, and I had a really bad headache. My shoulders have been aching. My back has been aching. And I really, really believe that it has to do with the elevations because I'm just not used to it. But at least it's warm sitting out in the sun. I got my chair. I got my coffee. I got my dog. Say hi, dog. Say hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> we already went to the pet area and played a bit. I'm not moving too fast today, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I want to go and take a walk in there and see what they have. Stop biting. <sighs> it's a we good We can day. thank Grandma for this. Because now I have to hold her bone so she can chew it. Yeah. So we pretty well do this every morning. Because Grandma started this. Yeah. And now she's not happy if there's nobody to hold her bone for her. What a dog. Okay, well, we're just out for a walk. There's the camp over there. So I thought I'd walk down this block, see what's here. Scott, the handyman, was came over and did some measurements and what have you. And told you it was going to cost me. It's going to cost me $700. And that's that's with a reconditioned tank. So you can imagine if a new tank, what a new tank would cost. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go and get a job. <laughs> I can't seem to find that trail that's supposed to be behind the trailer park. Kind of weird. But I've been thinking while I'm walking that uh, I think my end is coming with the RV parks. They're just too expensive. They have too many limitations. So I'm going to have to start uh, learning how to dry camp and boondock and what have you. Which was my plan. But you know, when you know, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> and Scott has helped me quite a bit. He's answered all my questions and showed me, you know, how to do things. So I'm hoping that it helps. And I'm going to try my black tank out while I'm at this RV park. Just to make sure. But yeah. Because I need money to go home. And we're getting a little low on funds. Now, this is one of my major freaking expenses, is that water tank. And I'm not too, too happy. You know. Well, I'm happy I'm getting a good deal. Like, he's giving me a good deal. But... I guess I should have tried it all out at home to see. But live and learn, I guess. We all make our mistakes. Yeah, just eat everything you find. We found a dog park. 
I am so happy. Now Miss Tika has somebody to play with. And she's going to fill up the water. Isn't that awesome? And it's not far. There's the park right there. So it's just a little walk over here. And I can let Tika play. Awesome. That makes me feel so much better. Because this dog has been driving me nuts. All right. We just spent a good two hours at the dog park. I am so glad I found the dog park. Because... Now I can bring Tika here in a controlled environment. She can play with other dogs. So that is awesome. That makes me feel so much better. I guess it makes up for the hot water tank. <laughs> yeah. I met the most awesome people. I love it. I love it. That would be fun. Oh, I'm okay, we're just getting back to Peaches. And, you know, I have to say, visiting the dog park really, really helped my mood. Because I was really feeling, like, hopeless. You know, I'm getting tired of dealing with all the bullshit. I really am. But, like I said, I feel better now. I met people, played with dogs. I met some great, great dogs and people. And it always helps. Oh, looks like I'm walking through somebody's lawn here, or yard. I'm still not happy that I have to put out, like that's a major expense. It's more expensive than anything that I've had done into the motor. So, or motor, <laughs> mechanically I should say. Hey look at it, my chair and table are still there. How awesome is that? Oh yes, and I did get my sewer plugged in. And guess what? Yeah, that's leaking too. But you know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm to the point where whatever. You know, leaks it leaks. I'll put some goop around it or something. I don't know. But here we are. Home sweet home.